um, nah, uh, not, not <laughs> she didn't want to take the rim of that. Like not even just the smegma, but the all all of the the everything that you know it had to be smeared because what was he wiping with? <sighs> yes, yes, y'all. We we are starting the conversation off with with the the dispelling of the dick cheese, and thank the Lord because well, we, we are starting the conversation off with, with the the dispelling. Yeah. Of the yeah. mm-hmm. Hey, hey, because I just muted mine. So I was like, yeah, 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 gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. So yeah. Thank goodness. And and he didn't even have to be told to take a shower. This he episode. he just so he him. tried to be respectful. He waited until it was right. dark. Nobody was gonna be around. He gave um our, our girl Fuji, you know, the, the night the rest of the night off. You don't gotta be here, sis. I get it. Right. But I, I don't I don't need you for what they want me to need you for. So but I appreciate the way that it was a fight that's his, that's so. what he was doing. The way that it's a fight. Like, sir, you want to shower? You want to wash? Right. No, I washed last month. Right, like I, I washed yesterday, bruh. Cause technically no. at this point, do hey, we know how long he has been there? Like, do we know what the time, like how long? Um, Is it like a week or something? I, I want to say maybe a week or two. I don't, yeah, that, it, it hasn't been that long. Well, it I think, I think well, before well, they left, it, there has been a lot of travel. Yeah. I'm like, I think before they left, so, it might've been a little bit. Cause mm-hmm. you know, they're on foot and the boats are slow. So I think, right, right, right. Cause he said that maybe, he washed a few weeks. weeks ago at the village. So when he got to, yeah. um, the castle, so, it was three weeks and then he might've stayed there for like a week or two. And then however long yeah, it took so to it's, get to it's the village. It's probably day. been like a month, month and a half now, actually. Yeah, going on, going on. Like two, yeah. Listen, cause sir, the way I would be dunking all the time. How, it's how, hot out here. I gotta take a shower. That's just it's, like right. Like, don't you want to be clean? Like, I understand that you're used to being on the ship, mm-hmm. and you know, like y'all, y'all don't always have the, the the water to spare. But that's true. Come on, man. Come like on. even on a ship, you'd be salty and sticky. I just can't deal. This, yeah, one good. thing I can't deal with is being sticky. I'm a shower, mm-hmm. and it's a bunch of like sweaty naval men just. Ugh gross hey amy yakari hey amy yeah yakari so as 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 we were just saying folks <laughs> yes uh, we were very happy uh one of our highlights is, uh, <laughs> sir blackthorn actually went and took a shower <laughs> without being axed if you're from the south wash <laughs> <laughs> with an r oh, rich around and wrench it off mm-hmm. Um, but uh, let's yeah. see, let's see. So we started off with uh, actually, I, I when I watched it the first time, I, I missed it. But the whole jump off was getting uh, Fuji to go yes. along with being a uh, concubine because she was not having husband. it. She was like, "How no, about she wasn't. I leave? How how about, how about no? Hold on a second, hold on. How about I leave? <laughs> how about that? How about I just go away?" Hmm. My family is dead. Why mm-hmm. am I here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruh. She was trying so hard. She wrote, I wrote it out. She was like, here's my here's my piece of paper. I wrote right, it like, out. Here are my demands. <laughs> I folded it for you. It's very <laughs> no. She was presenting that, that thing. is just two letters. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. And old girl was like, how about give me this? Hold, hold your hands when I say this. No. Only once one year. That's it. And then the scene stay? cut. And the next thing we know, she was like, oh shit, damn it, almost spilt my rum. Oh Lord. No. Yeah, I would not have been happy with that. Sitting she like was like, right well, why I gotta do this? Up. And I just appreciate her face Where because she- her I appreciate her face. And this episode, honestly, the way and we didn't see Fuji a whole lot. But Mm-mm. the times that we did see her were impactful. And this is the episode that I think made her my number two favorite character. She bowed it. Because she's, you know, to, to bring it to, because all, all, all Rosalie Thrones, to bring it back to um our Lord Baratheon, uh, High Lord, Lionel, not not Robert, his mm-hmm. daddy, uh, the Quiet Storm. That, 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 is, that is Fuji's nickname forevermore. What's going on, Phil? 
Cause yeah. she 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 sees the bullshit and she's like, man, mm-hmm. I ain't I ain't really trying trying to fuck with y'all like that. It's just six months. Okay, Marco was able to talk her down to mm-hmm. six months. She was like, all right, fine. And then even even while she's going, she's trying to do her job, and you know, Black he is Norris so confused. Like, Why do you keep following me? Oh my god, young he man, is like stomping through the house. <laughs> the titles titles that you have now, you have you have staff. And, and a whole like, ass house. And you're getting paid. You're a prisoner exactly. and you're getting paid. Exactly. They were like, this is what is entailed. So I'm going to need you to, hey, and get off the moss. Start acting Thank fucking you. accordingly. Don't walk on my Step moss. On on the my rocks. Right now. Put on the rocks. How would you stay on the fucking footpath? Disrespectful like, bastard. Like, bruh, sit down. He over here knocking over stuff. And they just looking at each other like, God damn, I wish you would sit the fuck down. He still hasn't learned his lesson. He's literally like, a, a, if you take um like a, a silverback ape and you put it in like the tightest quarters you could it, even if he does try to stay walking in between the tables or obstacles mm-hmm. he's gonna knock everything over oh my god or he got there and he was like i need to see my crew and my ship you're what he's and you're what? asking about the it, 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 first of all none of those things were ever yours come on once you and got i don't, I don't understand why you keep asking like you think you're entitled Come to on. these things and and marco had to get him hit the game like um your ship was taken it now belongs to our lord all of those weapons on there belong to our lord those men that you claim are yours belong to our lord he will use them as he sees fit we don't know where they are well where are they i don't know dog maybe in edo maybe look maybe oh no, no she, she she said she said that they, they were sent to it, was, it wasn't edo somewhere I think it was something that started with an I. No, she knows she knows where they are. I know, but he's like where? And she was like no, over there. <laughs> right, not here. As far as you're concerned, over there. No, no, no. Our, oh no, I had an understanding with your lord. Uh, mm-hmm. first of all, he I didn't ever hear him agree to any of those terms. Mm-hmm. Sir, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Because you don't if you don't you know to to um my girl, I uh, forget I forget her name, but I'm gonna call her Umbridge because it was the same actress from Harry Potter in Nanny McPhee, you know, while she's going down her list of the man's in the contract you know them fucking kids is supposed to stay out of my kitchen i have it in writing you didn't get it in writing boy so what, what do you think you have even if it wasn't writing he still couldn't read the writing so they could have written down whatever exactly they could have been like on the on the third moon of the week you must spread your cheeks and put this meat potato inside of it you don't even know what you're signing you don't even know what you're taking like it's just just stop just stop and be grateful you're alive and they consider you important enough to give you a title and not murder your ass. Exactly. In the soup. You're not a soup man. Again. Like your first guy was. You're a prisoner. <laughs> and first you're guy probably soup. making a better wage than half of his low-level guards. Man soup. You you have a specific title. Like, like Robert could come in here, you know, titles, mm-hmm. titles, bro. That title means a lot mm-hmm. to them. It, it, I don't understand why he hasn't figured out how deeply these people feel things like words again are not wind yo when you say something it means something. they mean that shit it means something it's so bizarre but i thought it was super funny how, cause a problem in later episodes how they were like hey um you're supposed to teach us how to fight and he was like dog i i i be on a boat i can't tell you how to run up on somebody on land i'm on a boat bitch <laughs> i can show you what we do on a boat do you want to see the boat fight? No, you. I can't here's, tell you. Here's, here's the thing. Like before he yes. even started talking about the boat, and yes, Bill. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but keep playing. I'll before put you in there. That, he he says, you know, he's asked, "Can you give us a rundown of like how your people fight and whatnot?" And he comes up with a battle that happened forty some that odd years ago funny. before he was even alive. And she looked at him like she was like, "Hey, wait, um, so anything like you've you been you've in? never actually been." in a war so this ain't you he 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 has a a couple seconds it's very fleeting but he does have a couple moments where he like internalizes that Mm -hmm. Mm fuck um but he is very good at uh thinking on his feet so he covers it up and he falls back on what he knows and he spins it to where he gets the point across very quickly and they were all laughing at him like um uncle shifty Come you know, on, bro. We've seen cannons, man. Like we, I, I, nothing. They, they are so really inaccurate. Work. They just what you wildly... mean? We can stay on the boat, and he sets it up and he runs that shit. And how? And, and not like, oh, wait a minute, hold the wait. Okay, like, hold so on. the Portuguese is fucking up. 
but uh, we got you now so yes continue but it would make sense that the that the portuguese would not show them how to correctly use what they have because they don't want you to be aiming right we're going to show you that if you fire this cannon it's going to be like all of them are sneaky bastards right yes they do not want them to be able to defend themselves with these weapons that they have they over here throwing out handfuls of gravel like no 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 you need to take this big rock and put it in this thing right. and aim it and that ties in with um like the the portuguese's overall plan because the whole freaking uh army base of christian um so samurai trained soldiers mm-hmm. uh that do not uh, belong to their their country no they are now the church's army like it's uh, like they're setting up for the crusades all over again <laughs> I opened it, y'all. This is really nasty, and I opened it, so I got to drink it. Yep, it can't it's, let it go to waste. Hey, Corinne, <laughs> it's so bad. Do not get Dark Horse Red Blend. Don't get this. This is trash. Um, oh God, yeah, that stinks. That is the worst. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. Okay, so. I would like to touch on before they um before they get to the village and and do this uh, demonstration. Okay. There is like a the, the <laughs> listen. I'm sorry. It, it's it it makes me giggle. Yes, Phil, you're correct. Who is it? You need to already be drunk to drink that pretty pretty much pretty much. Yeah. But um, you know, once they're setting everything up, um. While when they were still on the boat, you know, Uncle Shifty's talking about, you know, I, I sent word to my nephew, he's gonna have a spot looking dope as fuck so once we get sad. there. Trust me. And they the conversation continues and, and he stops like, wait, what um what what you mean that like you resign? And he's like, Oh, did I forget to tell you? My bad, bruh. And as a reminder, he over there looking straight ahead. Like, last episode, talking about, um, can you let me know your plans ahead of time, please? Next time, I'll think about it. Yeah, he thought about it and he said, no. Nah. No, thank you. Still can't <laughs> trust you. No, you know what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you what I'm Nor gonna eat has. tonight for this dinner. This shit was hilarious. They <laughs> got insane. there and, and, and you know, our, our man said, this is our Lord. Scorpion steps off the boat. They all Listen. give giving the praises Whoa, and the yeah. and whatnot. And he's saying he plays the crowd just fucking beautifully. It's like, so yo, pretty. Yo, samurai. Like, yeah. 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 Okay, I, all right. Bye, y'all. Shit going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got some shit going on. And I hey, appreciate bye. that you motherfuckers is over here standing with me. Matter of fact, I salute you. And he bows to them. And again, that shit means a lot. It's like to yeah. those, those soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then he gets back on the boat. And like, What's, um, we about to um have a nice dinner together. Nope. Uncle Shifty's Uncle like turns around uh, and does a double kick. Like, wait, what uh, the fuck? Uh, what? Uh, what? And then his son's like, Oh yes, my dad's got something um up the river. He, got to something take to do. he said that like me and you were supposed to do get all the information, and mm-hmm. then he's gonna come back and um you know we'll we'll, we'll be able we're gonna to train after we're gonna that. Train for six and I months? will give uh, six months. Yeah, mm-hmm. I will. I will give um some petty points because i always appreciate a good petty um the uh uh uh, what is it shifty nephew that's what Mm. i'm calling shifty nephew his mama the whole town is prepping shit like this we we gotta bring out the good wine for the 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 good sake he got his ass back on that boat she was like she was like damn it i should have pulled out the cheap shit what the fuck (laughs) and i appreciate that they gave her that line because she doesn't she doesn't talk a whole lot throughout the mm-hmm. season but i appreciated that line right there listen i i chortled so hard i was like damn and he thought it was something and i just i almost Played feel him left and right a type of way but your uncle has made himself untrustworthy i'm not telling this man a damn thing i'm not cluing him out bro of nothing nothing you nothing. know what i think it is i think that little boy is uh, is it as deep as that it kind of it it is is giving me Allison. It's giving me Allison thinking that you no know, he he's he's scheming with Uncle because he thinks that's the actual shore bet. Mm-hmm. That's where things should go. 
but it's, I, it's it's not it's not gonna work. It I feel all like the he's gonna backfire. He's too far he's out of the loop sides, maybe. to try to play mm-hmm. anybody's side. Like your uncle is in over his head. The fact that he got he caught doesn't and recognize he's that. not dead yeah. yet. Like he doesn't understand that everybody yeah. everybody knows. Everybody already knows. Mm-hmm. That's why he is where he is. Because if he was responsible and and um dependable enough he would be back with uh he would have hand. already been recognized he would have been yep. with the hand handling mm-hmm. the business that needed mm-hmm. to be handled but, but you're you not can't. like he said are, are aren't you supposed to be my trusted friend N- no he knows he can't trust you that's mm-hmm. why yes that's stuck in this thing that's why you are where you are trading good, for six bro. months hello hello like that's why you're trading for six months mm-hmm. with with everybody mm-hmm. around you, you watching you you're basically on punishment yep he, he did this was him saying sit i see down. your bullshit. i don't fuck with it stay over here it's very four brothers go sit at the kids table right right <laughs> get on the floor and share a meal with your man uh, type thing like you're over dude, here underrated movie love it so much love yes. it so much one, one of my one of my favorite mark mark projects yeah, his mom is also like very confused and trash. Yeah. Like his whole his whole family is fucked up because his they got the idea family. that his that the uncle is out here doing the business that need to be done and he's not. He's out here getting caught because he's because he's slacking. And yeah, they, they have um it it reeks of uh Karenicity. Mm. They're mm-hmm. o- they're overly privileged. And mm-hmm. they think cause they got this little tiny bit of power that they got big dicks to swing in the game and yeah. you really that they don't. they're expected to be up next. Like, sir, you're not at bat. You're still on exactly. the bench in the dugout. Exactly. You're, give me and my you water. You can see that, right? Give me that. Give and me my the juice. proof in that is how is how Uncle Shifty has been moving the whole time. He's trying to garner, you know, uh, trying to up jump, mm-hmm. as they would say. With um, what what the hell is the guy's name? Is is Ishida? I think it's Ishida yeah. or Shida. And and then he's also trying to pull the same thing with the uh, lord scorpion once lord scorpion found out and and got hip to the game and now he's scrambling even more i feel like he picked the wrong person if he was gonna go mm-hmm. against toranaga he should have picked the other two that was in in cahoots with the church one of them that yes is where the power is because he that's where the power is but yeah. because he's he's uncle shifty mm-hmm. and he is all you know and, and I'll, I'll, I'll give him that it's, it's not holistically a bad thing you know he is for his people mm-hmm. and for their land however the tide he is does. changing and you need to navigate this a whole mm-hmm. lot better than you are you need and to pay yes attention. he is correct him and he his dumb. nephew is even Just more dumb. of a dumbass his nephew thinks he's playing the game well and He's for a hot not. second, I thought I saw some potential in him, but th- th- this episode canceled all that. Listen, yeah, especially when he started to diss in the ear, I'm like, sir, you realize that you're not True. helping. You're not True. helping True. yourself. You're hurting yourself, sir. Mm-hmm. Talking mm-hmm. to anybody's ear and getting them to do stuff affects you because they are with you now. So you're automatically going to be a part of it. It ain't he no, ain't no them and us. You know what I'm saying it's he weak. was summoned. He was already summoned and he he can't go because then that's going to even more severely jeopardize his um his relationship with uh, Tar- uh Yoshi right now. Mm-hmm. So stuck. they already say they already know that if he if he leaves and he goes there now, he's going to be put to death. They're gonna make him commit uh seppuku. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm wondering, he's talking about y'all can't believe you know that? I'm putting my life on the line for does his him. nephew realize how serious does. it is for him? Because I'm like, if that was he, the case, well, that, like, that conversation, that conversation was between him and his nephew. So I the just nephew feel like does, he don't understand. I don't think, <laughs> yeah, because because his village is literally like just some little back alley town. Mm-hmm. I don't think he is really grasping how fact, big this is, how much with of what's happening, how deep of shit his uncle is in. Like he almost yeah. got like he he essentially got caught, and the only reason he's not dead is because uh, Tornaka has something for him to do. Yep. He has the village that he needs to escape to because as of right now, he didn't have any clear place to go that was quick. He doesn't have a place that's far enough away for them to start training with room for them to train with the stuff they need to train with. It's there. Exactly. I'm like, bro. You happen to be there, so he spares you that. Because he, because he, he, he was, their last meeting, he was he was worried and he straight said it like, okay, so you chose to kill me. All right, cool. I, I, I understand. Well, um, he showed you a little bit of grace, not because he actually likes you, but because you just have a thing that he needs at the moment. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And yeah, JD, that's exactly what we were just saying. Their whole Keep family the overly fucking entitled. Like, it's giving all of the carinicity. It's giving y'all gonna keep running out into the street until you get hit by a car. Like y'all keep playing. <laughs> They're and gonna that bump, bump part right you. there. They're going to bump bump. That, that's over exactly. You. That is exactly what I was going to um, bring up for the next point. Trash. The nephew is basically wanting to get Uncle Shifty out the way because mm -hmm. his mom is hyping his head up, gassing him up every five minutes and he thinks that he can actually take on those extra territories and expand the fiefdom Sir, if he gets his uncle out of there barely but control it, what it, you have that's not how it works like, you think you're playing this great manipulation game and you not it's like when you're playing cards with little kids and they be they think they're holding their cards in secret but you can see all their fucking hands from across the table you just uh -huh. be like hold your hands right. up hold your hands up you know what? Never mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never mind. <laughs> See, Trash. right. And yeah, and you know, to uh, JD's last point there, like, you know, he doesn't see how to get around his uncle. It, it's um, it's honestly the same thing with, uh, what, what is the damn little boy's name? I wrote it down. I'm gonna call him little dumbass probably for the rest of the season, but uh, mm -hmm. Kiku or, or Kaiku, um, uh, Scorpion's son. Both oh, of God. them are fucking idiots. Just follow instructions. Bruh. Follow instructions. You literally had one job. You whined and cried about your dad not trusting you with important shit. And then you do and, this. And you get this important shit. And you're your you're first your first draft pick. You get in there. You're you're in the starting team. You're a starter. You right there, center field. And what do you do? What do you do? I'm gonna kick a field goal. Mm. I'm gonna get we'll, in here we'll, and hail we'll, Mary. We'll, a couple. I'm we'll we'll, we'll loop back Mary. to that mm -mm. in a little bit. Oh, that mm. was a hell of a lot more than a hail Mary. But uh, let's get through um, this little nightcap that had that uh, that that went on though. Well, you know, before the started, nightcap. Well, before the yes. nightcap, they they had the, the the altercation with the guns. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that scene right there, that is why Fuji is in my top two. Yes. Oh, yes. Talk about it. Talk about it. Yes. Please. She was like, listen, hey, he, he got he got the guns. And she was like, okay, that's nice and cool and all. You get your guns, but you can't take them off the property. And he was like, but these are my guns. Uh -huh. Sweetie, hi. You can't they take them off the property. They have swords. Why I can't it's have a gun? gun. No, this it's is not different. a gun. It's not a gun. Okay. It's not mm -hmm. a gun. Put it down. And he refused to, you know, put the guns down. But then the guy was like, no, give me the guns. I Listen, I agree with him. I'm not giving you my guns, but I'm also not going to take mm -hmm. them with me. I'm going to put them in the house. That's what I'm going to do. But he didn't want to do that. He wanted to keep his guns on Black him. Thorn. Because, you know, I, I do, I want to do. And mm -hmm. uh, both of the ladies were yelling, like, just get, do like, something. Bro, can you just, just mm -hmm. fucking put them down? Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. again, M Marco coming in clutch. He was like, give, Look, give, give, give her. them to Fuji. Give Fuji the if guns you give them the to same. her, they're not allowed to harm her. They're not allowed they're to not take them take from her that. either. And she can take them back in the house. And what does my bitch do? The moment and he's the like, give me the guns. She yeah. has them she's in like, her oh, hands. She's she she, she, she almost goes right back into and see, this is this is why I champion <laughs> Fuji because this is why I call her the quiet storm. You think she's about, cause she's all, you know, little delicate and cute. She's still grieving and, she, bitch, and you know, you. so meek. But she grabs them shits in she, almost for a second. You think she's going to turn around, and go away, and they step, take one step. They, like, some of the guards, if you up. look, they only even got like a half a step. She's not playing with you. The gun she's went right up to him, like, bro, what? I suggest you go on about your business. And, and they stop, like, oh, okay. Um, I suggest you. All right, well, he got rid of the gun, so we, we, exactly. we can go now. It's cool. This is the whole entire point. You're not taking them from me. And, she, and she did not. She did not have to be given an order to do that. No, that's the best. She part. just she read the fucking room and was like, "Bitch, you not coming around here with that shit." She was not like, on my watch. My disgusting, dirty man, and he handed me these guns to protect. Right in the house, you're not gonna take these from me. That's not how it rolls. Okay. No. I can't stand this motherfucker, but you know what? I have a job to do, mm -hmm. and best believe I'm gonna do that shit because my lord Yoshi Scorpion ain't about to come back over here and give me the get over here for fucking up. No, no. not today. No. Especially she's trying to get out of here in six months. Like, listen. No, I'm saying right, exactly six months, maybe three months if I'm on good behavior. Exactly. Quit playing. Quit playing. <laughs> you you fucking up my check, bruh. 
and I like that I can't, I can't have you running my pockets. That at the dinner, um, he had his guns and he was like, "Thank you so much." And he gave her one of the guns, and she was like, "You know what? Thank you. Let me go get you my family stuff because technically we're family now." You know, wait, wait, you're all wait, I got. Wait, wait. The little tid, no, the little tidbit before that though, she's looking at it and she's very confused, and she's like, "What the fuck am I supposed to do with this?" And Marco pew, pew. had to break it down for, her. and she was like, "Oh." Oh, I mean, like she still has some questions, but Marco Thank again, you. the genius of the, of the hand, the <laughs> lady hand. She's he's trying to be polite. He's trying to be nice, and then so quick for Fuji, she was like, "Oh, oh, okay, you know what? Hold please I'll with that." And she goes in. Let, let, one second, let me run over here real quick. And he was worried for a second. Like, Yo, did I offend her? Like, and she sick? comes out with, with the swords. And says, yo, these are my family swords that they, they, they were passed down from my father. You can't be going out here with your title Hakimoto, without swords. I will not actually know what she says. The exact line is, I will not be a concubine to a warrior that does not go around with swords. So here, you need some powerful swords. Mm -hmm. This is my family legacy right here. Take that. That's so nice. I was like, shut up. That is so nice. That right. is and, so nice. And I that, appreciate that. All of that, all of that is why i i champion fuji and i cannot wait because i feel like we're going to get some more from her and it's gonna be some heinous shit, and she's gonna have to throw hands phil, exactly come on phil exactly that part that part mm -hmm. exactly and fuji it is as pissed off as she we've seen her and even then she's not like out there being gruff and, and vulgar and nothing with her anger but it's or very clear that she's upset but what does she do she absolutely always keeps her decorum as a lady and mm -hmm. she has a job to do here she's literally the head of household running shit so she's gonna act accordingly and i appreciate that i think she does it in a really good fashion especially with the wrongs that have been done to her mm -hmm. since episode one yeah I, I I love I love this character and I cannot wait to see how she's gonna blow up in the end because I, I think that we're gonna get some more good shit from her. Yeah. She's adorable. <laughs> she she is. adorbs. <laughs> she is. And um let's see, hold on, hold on, before we get back to the cannons. Um they had that dinner, you know, mm -hmm. when, when they did this exchange and whatever it was they were cooking, I feel like it Not was so. probably something that was only is it only meant for ladies or something because they no both not, nacho so makes me gag and me. i understand why if you're used to eating it, you can eat it what? nacho is fermented it soybeans like what you do what is, is you have fermented soybeans and then you put a raw egg in it and you mix it all together and you put a little soy okay. sauce in it and then if you want extra condiments on there you can but that's pretty much what the dish is and that's how mm -hmm. you eat it and because the soybeans are fermented it's really gummy and gooey yeah and, and slimy sweet, yeah and very tank tank but um because I, I know this because one of the youtubers that i watch is judy time her husband is half japanese and he eats it oh nice she can't stand okay. it and he's gotten the kids to eat it so now they eat it so when they're all eating it she's just like i just can't can't do it <laughs> she's filipino she's like I you can't. know what mommy I will it. be in the basement uh she was like mommy's gonna eat this rice i'll enjoy over here with this kimchi mm -hmm. and my chopsticks but i'm not eating that <laughs> Judy is like because mm -mm, you're that. Filipino self. She's full Filipino, and she's like, I just can't. I just not the texture, the smell. I will throw up. But that's what it is. I it's not. That. And here, and, and of course, because he has no real world experience, he's, he's like, I will eat. Like, it. no, no, I, 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 I will eat. The, what is that? Why y'all not sharing? Like that's that was the one dish that was set over to the side from everything mm -hmm. else. He was like, no, well, I, I like to try it. Look, I mean, if, if this is actually supposed to be my house. And, and I can do what I want, then um, I think I should try it. And, and they both look at each other and they smirk. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I saw that smirk, I was like, I don't know. He was like, oh, it like tastes it, like fermented cheese. A little, he, little. Yeah, he, he, he said, oh, wait, wait, wait. This this tastes kind of like cheese. Like, you know, it's a rabbit mm -hmm. stinky, it's but mm -hmm. it, it's quite enjoyable. And Girl. I have a hard time deciding whether he was saying that just to be polite or if he did actually like it. I feel like he actually liked it, but I don't know. I think they left that up in the air a little bit. Listen, the way what I, I know blasted is it's into not the stratosphere. Me. I would have I, I am not one out. of those folks that appreciates the, the stinky cheeses, 
because they taste good. I, I don't want to go near them. If I can smell it that bad, no thank you. I am a texture person. Yeah, I but like it's it seems like you get and yes, person. texture. Yep. If it's gummy and gooey, mm. I will gag. I remember I had a sweet potato pie that was too freshly out the oven and I bit into it and it was mm. like I was like Bleh. it tasted good, but the texture I just kept I was like, I can't eat this until it's solidified because, some more. Uh -uh. Because of texture, and I, I agree, Mina. Because of texture, I am a very devout cake person. I am not a fan of pies because one mm -hmm. cooked fruit. I mm -hmm. I can't do it. No, thank you. It's gummy. And, and I've it's had gooey. I've had friends ask me, like, well, I mean, I, I can make a pretty good apple pie. Like, you're not gonna even try it. Bruh, I yeah, have I tried cooked fruit. It has nothing I to do with, with okra either. Or the ingredients or the preparation. None of that. It's how it feels in my mouth, and I don't like it. It's the reason I don't, I don't care like how fat. good it might taste. I don't, I don't like, like it. People, people yeah, eat ew. Like the fat mm. off of meat. Mm -mm. Let me bite. Let me get a flavor. Yeah, my mom loves. My mom oh, loves the fatty meat. Mm -mm. This is how I know that's, that's the exactly type of meat that, that you have. Not shit. Even then, because some people have crappy ass fillets where I bite into it and it's fat. I'm like, listen, I don't know what that was. Yeah. But that was not fillet because that was a piece of fat. Fillet should have no fat that's, in it except yeah. like light marbling for flavor. This Very is a big light fat marbling. Bobule. No, thank you. Because mm -hmm. I'm biting no, into it and it's it, an it, instant it, response for me to go bleh. And I can't yeah, even control If you it. bite into a fillet mignon steak and you taste fat, in that concentration, they lied to you. You should get your mm -hmm. money back. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I like wagyu. Not. I can eat mm -hmm. a wagyu all the way through, made it rhyme. Because <laughs> that's how know, that's delicious. I, I haven't had like a full like a like like a good eight ten ounce wagyu yet. But what I do have had is uh, some of the wagyu that's uh, cut into strips. They they sell them in small packages uh, at Kroger. And that's that so good. Delicious. It's so good. Woo. In my favorite. There is a place that does like super specialty orders in Japan. Okay, actually. Amy, um, only the gravy. I can only eat the gravy from those. Mm. Don't, don't you, don't you put, don't you give me no. I eat the gravy. The gravy is fire. <laughs> the actual. Yeah, I don't. I don't need. I don't. I don't need nothing else. Mm -mm. Nope. No gizzards. Mm -mm. No livers. Mm -mm. No none of that. My See, sister eats gizzards. We don't eat liver. Um, What's but I eat the gravy is? from it. I eat the gravy Thanks from both of them. Yeah, I don't see this ha having West Indian parents. I, I feel like it could be how it, it is with um, some of my friends that are from the south of the U.S. Are that it, it whatever they find to cook, they will eat, and it, including all. Well, here's of the thing: parts. you had and to make you had to make do, especially with as slaves. Like they gave you whatever yeah, you had to yeah, make it taste and, good. And I know, and yeah, I know like, that's where that's where the whole tradition of, of me and all that comes from but people me, thought i was no. a vegetarian because i didn't eat that shit <laughs> i'm like i'm not a vegetarian yes you are i eat hot dogs and hamburgers i just can't eat gizzards chitlins pig feet I, I tall, no mall, pig hard pig. head cheese i no, can't no eat it pig ears no pig no. snouts like that no, like chicken feet i don't, I don't want understand. it i can't do it you no gracias no gracias mm -mm. Mm -mm. I literally, I, I literally had my dad tell me he was waiting until my sister was just not paying attention or maybe out of town one weekend and she had a pet turtle and he was like, y'all can't, I'm just waiting to put that motherfucker in the stool. Dad, sir, can we not eat the pets, please? And thank you. Also, yeah, I, I just, try, trying turtle I just has not appealed to me. No, no thank, thank you. you. I right, can't exactly. eat rabbit. Eat the chitlins I, because if y'all didn't know, chitlins are um like li literally your, your intestines. It's the it's the, it's the piggy intestines and I'm good. My Grammy eats them. All the same, all the same things for Portuguese people. Eat. See, I I don't know what they eat, so I can't I can't I can't co-sign that. But if you know like, if you have you just had to make it taste you know, good, work for it. Like you just had to make it taste good, which is why everything is so girl <laughs> gag. I can't even be in the house. I'm like Gammy. She got a whole bucket. I'm like, first of all, when you gotta I, buy it in a bucket, why, why? I've always wondered that. Why? And the size of the damn. And I know this is a huge sidebar, y'all. We're almost done. But the, the the why do they sell it in those big fucking buckets? That makes no sense. I, I've only ever been in the same room with Chitlins one time, and I never wish to repeat that. Um, no. Nope. Grammy was like, "You want to know how to clean yep. them?" I was like, "Carolyn Macon." No. I gotta call you by your government. No. 
<laughs> no. See, rabbit, I can't play with rabbit. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because number one, See, rabbit's creepy. You know out. what? <laughs> Why? Oh, they're okay. eyeballs. They're really looking at you. I can't. They're weird. Uh, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, JD, I, I don't know if you ever watched um, what that, I think it's a uh, Nathaniel sees something. It's a dude. Basically, he's always like look, looking out the window in between his blinds at the, at the random. Oh page. yeah, 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 yeah. I do something with the black eye with, that, with the glasses. Just, yeah, the one of the most recent ones that he did was him um going to this uh, barbecue spot and trying the rabbit stew and cornbread for the first time and he said it was delicious i i would try it i i have no problems with with the rabbit meats i can't I would take anything that. that's fatty and that's i think it's gonna be gamey that's what i think it's gonna be like real chewy fatty? like duck I that's what see, i think I it's know. gonna be right yeah that dude <laughs> oh my stomach bubbling yes i think yeah. him and uh everybody's so creative those are like my two fave critics <laughs> on foods right now yeah, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. But still, you know, and I know he, he was also also trying to be polite with eating that. But first of all, like you, you low-key demanded that. So that was kind of rude of you. But I, I understand how he probably did like it. This is for you, JD. Because it's him. <laughs> okay, so so it's a lean meat too. Okay, I, I would probably like it then. Because I like bison is actually my favorite. Would they consider lamb lean meat? Not how? Or is um, lamb fatty? I don't know. Well, that's uh, l- lamb is a uh, veal, isn't it? No, veal is baby cows. Oh, baby cows. Okay, now baby reps. Listen, this this said I know this. Okay, so, so it's barely me. Okay. Okay. Mm. Man, saying, you know, living in the South and being Caribbean. I did, yeah. Yeah. See. Ex- Exactly. You 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 know what I'm saying when I t- talk about my dad was trying to put the turtle in a damn pot. That's that's okay. Exactly. Lamb is fatty. Yeah, because I, exactly I, I ate lamb, lamb once. Lamb well, the first time I had mm-hmm. lamb, it was really good because it was very like I don't know if you would know the reference of being fried hard or cooked hard, but it was like that. So it wasn't really like yes. fatty. The second time I had it, it was complete fat. And I was like, <laughs> no, thank you. No, my and my my fat has to be first of all trimmed very lean and completely rendered to where it tastes like those nice soft but crispy uh fatty bits of the bacon bits. I, I can't mean, even do that. When I get, I get two big pieces of those, I'm like flick. <laughs> well, it's a, well if the piece is too big, it doesn't it doesn't mm-hmm. fully render all the way. So, yeah, I, I don't like those pieces either. Mm-mm. Child, I can't smoked lamb said, i think i went to texas and brazil smoked, but can't eat it any other way i i, I don't even think i've had like full-on lamb like outside of a euro i had lamb at That's texas day brazil cool. had lamb chop it was on little his little leg meat and his little mm. leg bone and i was like oh let me get That's one that's well i said <laughs> so let me try a, a well one <laughs> All right, so on to <laughs> the sexual the, uh, situations the last bit. Yes, yes. So, you know, after dinner, you know, Mariko, he washed my boy Blackthorn. Right, right. He he let he waited until, you know, pretty much everybody in the house was down mm-hmm. and he walked outside and th- this this was the first inkling I think that we could see to where he was really starting to have a change in his mm-hmm. way of thinking. And mm-hmm. he gets to the the, the hot spring that he was gonna take a dip in to get clean and wash. And he takes the time to appreciate the scenery first. But you gotta think about it. The last time he was there, his dudes was getting boiled. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He got the, pissed the on. And also, also, <laughs> you know what? That's that's a little tidbit that we forgot when we were talking about the intro of them coming in. It went when the when uh a shifty nephew came up, he he said some some random shot i don't remember what he said he was, but he called him like a some kind of fuck something fuck nugget something like that it was something just funny because he was cussing right, the fuck at him and black Florin hit him Marco was like hit him back right, Marco, she, right. she, 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 she was knew like, not to translate she, she knew not like, to translate at said, that point thank you for having me right he was like yeah 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 you know we met on different terms last time i was here you piece of shit if she was asshole. allowed to elbow him she would have fucking dick she would have she'd been like and this and this is what we've been talking about with Blackthorn since episode one. Is he a fucked up, ridiculous individual? Yes. 
are they going to make us like and maybe even love him yes and the shit's mm-hmm. working mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But because that bath he, was really funny. Kind of petty, and I appreciate. A good I do petty. appreciate the petty. I appreciate the petty. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the snark. The right. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I appreciate it. So I'm just like, uh-huh. yeah, I, I love that part. And but I'm uh, very you glad know, he got they clean. Have they have the conversation. Right, right. They had the conversation outside by the springs. Mm-hmm. She was and asking, they what, do, "What do you do?" It's so Ooh, cute though. There's a line. Was it, was it was it from this episode yes there's something yeah yeah when when uh mariko was telling him about the earthquakes her line is you know we live and we die we control nothing beyond that mm-hmm. and i mean not only does it fit like to where he really needs to start thinking in that mindset but it just fits for life in general bro. Mm-hmm. like don't be so hard up on shit sometimes y'all just, yeah recognize it realize that our reality is really just what we make it. And we're not always going to be able to be in control, sadly. Damaris, what is going on here? What you saying, bro? So you know, like just finished the eighth episode. And you know what? Um, I don't know if you're watching that, Meeks. But at some point in time, I think I do actually want to check that out. What? It is on my list to watch because I love the uh, the X-Men uh, 97. Listen, I'm not sure if I want to watch it. it. Not because it's like bad or anything, but because I I have a hard time with animation. Me and animation don't be friends. Hmm. First of all, you said it was supposed to be here at 9 p.m. It's 9 o'clock. My Lady Jackie, hello, hello. I'm I'm, I'm refreshing to see if it's here. It says premiere. Like, listen, I'm, hold on. Let me push it. Wait, hold on. Break. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, young man. What? Like, you good? You need you need a digi hug? What's going What's going on? You're not okay because of the way of. Uh, these shows oh they are actually doing it live how dare they how dare they doing what live fallout how dare they what you mean it's like live like it's you can't All click right. on the video they're playing it live right now you son of a bitch <gasps> see amazon i don't appreciate that me neither, because I wanted to see if it was Every, up, just hey, so I can, can cue it up. Can everyone please extend a, a digi hug to Damaris Por favor. Yeah, I heard that because uh, seeing the the um, the thumbnails for episode eight and seeing the thumbnails for X Men, I'm like, y'all is sad. Is y'all sad today? Just sad? Is you sad? You look sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently yeah. Fallout is on. Yep. I am so mad. I, I am so mad. It, yeah. it better show up later because this live shit. I stayed up for this. I am exhausted. I had no nap. I mean, it should. It should be. It's probably gonna wait until the full hour is over to put it up. I'm gonna slap them mm, in the face. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's Double cool. slap. But um, back to the the sexual situations. The the mm. sexual is right. You know, they they talk and he went to sleep. And then she, you know, crept out Snuck the in there. and even more so tiptoed and came back. That was so and funny. And woke him up for, for the nightcap sexy times. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right. And this here again. <laughs> the know, dip of the tip. You know, just the tip. Just the tip. Mm-mm. Make of that what you will. This, yeah. And the next day, again, this is where Hilarious. I said you know, earlier, Blackthorn is starting to you know change his way of thinking and his outlook he actually takes the time to sit and chat a little bit with fuji and appreciate the lovely rainfall in that is coming upon the zen garden you know blackthorn in episode one would not have gave a shit about some rain in a zen garden where he can't walk on the moss and all of the sand is in these intricate circles and formations and then mariko comes out there and he was like top of the morning to you. Like, oh, hey, 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 right. Hey, girl, what's he was good, like, man? Yeah, I slept well. Yeah, how you good? Did you sleep well? He was like, yes. And he was like, oh, I slept very well. And she was like, oh, great. So the 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 consort that we sent in there was to your uh, liking. And, and, and he looked. And like, he was like. And then he looked at at, at what, what you right. And and then and then the camera pans out a little bit, and we see Fuji giving both of them the side eye again. 
who she knows how to read the fucking room and she is like wait bitch what she 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 gives like the bombastic side eye mm-hmm. to Mariko, like bitch what the fuck did you do what, mm-hmm. what? I, I don't know all of that language but i know some words what the fuck what happened here what you mean you you said the consort in his but here's what the, i mean the funny thing is that, that she wasn't gonna do nothing because she you know she had just lost her child so she definitely wasn't about to do nothing for nobody but she was just uh-huh. like right exactly was but she to your she liking did. okay i'm saying <laughs> just checking oh, just checking man. yep yep and that is it so and you know at the same time of uh when when the the nightcap uh sexuals were happening over in another house this fuck up little boy uh you know kiku uh, young young lord of the fuck don't worry about me continue is over here talking with uh omi the 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 wannabe up jump to uh kick his uncle uncle shifty out the way and take over uh all of his fiefdom Mm-hmm. is sitting there completely egging this dumbass on and kiku again this is why we said he's a fucking little entitled brat and honestly i don't get why he's like that because we know we know scorpion didn't raise him like that nah scorpion learned all of his lessons on the street as a kid when he was being milled around and shipped around everywhere and he's been trying to teach those lessons to his son and little asshole just does not know how to listen he's out here spilling his guts to omi who did you forget this is your father's enemy right now did did you forget who his uncle was and you sitting here trying to make these plans and letting all that shit that he's talking in your ear move on your heart and spirit side note is up let's continue and yes phil yes yes she had all the side eyes and it it just let it, him talk that good shit to you. He couldn't see that shit right. And, and the flavor. And, you know, kudos, kudos to Omi on that because he did it so well that that little boy actually thought the idea was his. And I he mean, was like, I can't oh, be mad. No, no, no. You know what? Don't tell my dad. Okay. You know what? Don't 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 send for him. I got this. Am I echoing? And what does he got? I'm echoing. What am I echoing from? from? Chat room. Y'all hear an echo from Mix? I don't hear no echo. You don't hear an echo? I hear clicking. Are you clicking like your mouse or keyboard or something? No. Well, now it's done. I don't hear an echo. I don't hear an echo. I didn't hear an echo from you, but I did hear something that sounded like uh, keyboard taps. And yes, uh, Mina, we, we are getting to that. Okay, yeah, Phil, Phil doesn't hear an echo okay. either. So, yeah. So what what the hell that this little boy does in the planning? You know, first of all, uh, we already know who uh, Jorzen, and I, I think I only remembered his name because I actually like how it sounds. I, I have a thing with uh, very different sounding names, so that that is now on my list to make a character of at a, a later date. And this is the messenger, and we all know, like all all across the the world in all times that we have read about anything from since back to the Sumerians way back in the day. You don't hurt messengers. That's just not, that's not what you do. I still think the uncle was trash because he was still trying to be, he was still trying to be like, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing here? How about, how about you just have dinner with us and then we'll talk about how I'm still trying to be on your side, but I can't be on your side right now, but I want to. How about that? He, exactly. And, And again, I, I'm only giving him kudos in that respect because he he he, he finished the assignment. Him, him and Uncle Shifty were talking already, and he was like, "No, no, no Uncle, you know what? Leave it to me." And he Gosh. he did the job. I, I don't like him. No, I, I I don't like that he was able to um, manipulate Kaiku so easily. But then again, Kaiku, why the fuck were, did you allow yourself to be manipulated like that? Did you forget everything your dad, your dad told you after you were crying in the last episode? Like, about not uh him not trusting you fully so you bizarre. proved his point he should not have trusted you fully Whole because you're a fucking idiot in one ear out the other gone. in one ear out the other gone and the next day once the once the demonstration comes up for Jorzen and for the rest of the messenger team that came with him what does this dummy do he, he already had 
his people <laughs> position, and he got everyone else out of the way and shot the cannons for the demonstrations and where did those cannons no. go right into the fucking messenger team when my note on that is this fucking little boy i was like and i stayed there for for the rest of the episode doing? i was like them, hor them horses chunks everything oh, got it. chunked i don't i i'm not a fan of of uh chosen I, I thought he was also a dick just like uncle shifty but he even started he had a fucking arm and a, a half an arm and a half a leg blown off and he's looking at this shit like yo this is not what the fuck we Listen, do here this uncle is this was like it's disgusting and you're ah. a fucking savage for doing this bullshit ah. this ain't how samurai act and shifty nephew was over there grinning and skinning i'm like sir this right, is about to be on your right. neck you understand when that they, right when they turned that camera around right when he cut jojen's uh head off pan back to uncle shifty and he's over here skinning because oh. not only is that a messenger but that that was his friend that was his friend was he was trying to go to their sides friends so now no matter and what he says he's going to be on toshi's it don't matter. On yoshi's side it's all painted whatever he doesn't have a choice his, his and, nephew screwed him uh, over. Yo, his stupid uncle was his <laughs> stupid nephew was right there and he's smiling in the background. Like, sir, you just fucked like your you, own self. You son of a bitch. You don't even know the hellstorm you just started. You thought they will you were never playing the game on some little finger shit. But no, really, you're no. fucking Cersei out here and you're Not fucking even Cersei. Up. You're fucking Rob. Okay? You're Rob. Yes. Doing Facts. what you think is going to be right for you. Fucking it up. Yep. Yep. Fucking it all that. the way up. I need that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like shit shit <laughs> that whole list i can't even and blackthorn was like wait shouldn't we like try to stop it mariko was like you keep your ass Duh, right bruh, here bruh, because if you bruh. set foot on there your ass is gonna face them consequences too yep if <laughs> like, we stay sir. here we have plausible deniability mm -hmm. we did not know this shit was gonna happen we knew what the plan was. We didn't know that he changed it. He exactly. outranks us. So what the fuck was we gonna tell him? What you gonna tell him? No. You exactly. Tell him stop it. No, stop you that. Stay, you, you stay right where you are and be happy that you were lucky enough that he did not include you in this dumbass shit. I don't think the uncle, Corinne. I don't think the uncle knew that the nephew would be no. successful in convincing him to do anything. I no, don't even he think didn't. that he was going to talk to him. I just thought that he I, was like, okay, I'm behind you, uncle. I, yeah, I, he, all, all the guy, all the Omi said was, leave it to me, uncle. I don't think Uncle Shifty had any inclination from that, that he was going to go and talk this boy into doing this heinous shit. Mm. So he technically should have plausible deniability, but that was his nephew that set that shit up. So Not it even makes that. him look even worse. Now all these people were seeing him try to wheel and deal. Like yeah. granted, you, you you know it was right to host the messenger as a guest. It, that's correct. However, mm -hmm. bruh, exactly. He was just gonna delay, delay, delay. And now you can't delay because your delay is in pieces. <laughs> yep. They're separated. Dead. But <laughs> right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shift over two two feet to the left. Wait, is somebody oh else still up the screen? You know, yes, little, like you have a better vantage point yes, here. You know what? Oh yeah. Uh huh. For Fire. Good. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like what? What the hell? How did he think that was going to do anything but make him look even worse in his dad's eyes? And again, last episode we called that shit out, and Yoshi was trying to tell him, "Yo, it's been years. I've been trying to drum into your head these fucking lessons." And you, um, I'm not gonna say exactly what said, but he 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 about to catch this heat. You know, listen, Uncle Shifty was like, "Yo, no, your father will hear about this." Listen, well, I want him to hear about it, mm -mm. sir. Like your father, I, I, you know what? I don't know if they whooped people with belts or if they even had belts to whoop people, but you need to whoop him like actual, like old school. You in trouble? Put your knuckles like get the belt and whoop his ass. Cause what the hell? What the what, hell? Exactly. You started exactly. a whole entire war. It's just like uh, America's a whole like, uh, ass was war. Like, uh, this is war. Like, did, did is. you really not consider the consequences of your actions? You claim you 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 spent all night what thinking this shit up. What about your mom? Hmm. 
isn't it his sister pregnant or his like cousin pregnant at, at the at the castle? It's, I think it's like they're still cousin? there. Yeah, the, the, his yeah. uh, it, the, it, her it, son. There's some, there's some they're familial still there. relation. Yeah, like all those people are yeah, still there. What do you relation. think is going to happen to them? Because you were out here fucking around. That, seriously, because first of all, you did not understand the assignment. Okay. So now you have to answer for not just the lives of regular men, but you have to answer for taking the lives in such a brutal and uncharacteristic way of their time that again, Jerson looked at you like you're a fucking savage. And to Jerson's point, a couple episodes ago, if you remember, he was the one telling this kid like, yo, motherfucker, calm down. You've never even seen one war fuck a war you've never even seen one battle how the fuck mm-hmm. you gonna tell me how to do some shit and Joseph was right for saying that to him Bruh. because you're a fucking little great you you are you're so fucking young in this game that you piss grass bro it's a mess it's a right mess it is a right mess and uh he done flipped the switch it's on and pop it now yep and now and and now is where the the, the, the drama really starts Bro, I'd be because so fucking now pissed. his dad is gonna have to clean up this mess mm-hmm. and it pushes it, it it fucks up the whole plan because again scorpio you know he he scorpio scorpion he is like um damn it what what, what is the man's name the uh, not not duke atreides duke harkonnen he he has plans on plans on plans plans and plans. you ABCDFG. are fucking up the plans he like no he, he's low-key like plankton Remember Plankton had like plan A through plan double Z to take mm-hmm. over the crust crab and get rid of Mr. Krabs? And he was like, now that since is, you did this, sh- I got to take out A through E. I got to take out T. I, can get I got to take out yep. P. <laughs> and, I can't, right, and I can't do the shit in beautiful order like I had it scheduled like, because of you and your dumb ass. You let yourself get played. Trash. By this motherfucker, and you know your dad don't trust his uncle. Why the fuck trash. would you trust him? Trash. Mega trash. Annoying. Annoying as fuck. Yeah, but that's where we left but off. That is y'all, where the episode listen. ended. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> that trash is where the mess. episode ended with hot garbage, garbage. and mess. And I, I, I'm, I, I don't know how many of you guys have watched ahead. I have watched um, a couple episodes ahead, and I have yeah, he, he, he is gonna pay for this. He is all I'm to. gonna say. There's no other way. He's sadly, yeah, it's uh, I, I, I'll, I'll wait till next week. Consequences, it's consequences but, of the yeah, action. That's why you gotta think before you do shit. He told him you gotta think before you do shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. literally cried and whined about your dad not trusting you, and he trusts you with like, this one little tiny thing. You don't want to give him none of the secrets, and you couldn't. And, and listen. he did this. He. He included you on, on the Black Ops, uh, you know, switcheroo, getting to the village. He gave you this job. Like, and yes, um, Uncle Shifty is technically uh, on rank, higher rank than him, but he's the boss's kid. So it, it is unspoken that he's supposed to be in charge. Like, bro, follow And Uncle Shifty was actually giving you a, a bit of props on that. You know, he, he wasn't trying to, oh, you know, fuck you over or anything in that moment. Instructions. Like trash now. Trash. Ridiculous. Trash. So tune in next week, y'all. Listen. To see to see what happens with little fuck shit asshole Mm -mm. and shifty uncle. That's true. But we need to have a conversation. What are we doing with Fallout? Um your schedule is busier than mine when it comes to streaming. So you tell me what works um i i kind of don't i kind of want to go through it episode by episode i don't want to have to do a full like chunk oh that's fine i just have to watch it before uh, i just have to watch it all as quickly as possible that's for me we can talk about it weekly yeah. but i gotta watch it as quickly as possible because people don't be caring i'm waiting for the first i'm yeah, trying to yeah, not touch reaction. anything else because people will be like oh my god i'm like y'all i can't fuck it. <laughs> i can't i can't deal with people okay. they're so, gonna spool and- it there, there's ten. There's ten episodes in Shogun, right? Yes, ten episodes of Shogun, eight episodes in Fallout. Okay. Um, how much do you think you'll be able to watch this weekend? 
the it, girl it, today it, i'm watching two episodes i can tell you right now i'm watching two episodes right now okay yeah, well if, if you today. if you keep that pace um we i think we can do it weekly oh no we, we can have the discussions weekly i have to watch them i'm watching them immediately because the yeah. people that i follow they're they're putting out videos they're gonna be putting out videos every single day so yeah, there's same. probably gonna be one tonight yeah. there's probably gonna be one tomorrow and, and i'm like my first one will be tomorrow so i'll oh. have it i'll have it all finished yeah, today um, i'll have it all finished by probably Wednesday. friday or saturday okay oh yeah that that works out so uh monday we just uh put fallout like episode okay. one on it and then wednesday uh shogun episode six cool beans wait episode five five yep yes mm. Because as you can see, I'm ready for right, fall. Um, I got my Nuka Cola on. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I, I, <laughs> if I can, if I can uh, get things together, I will be watching at least F1 tonight myself. Mm, 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 yes. Mm, oh, mm, and mm. looks like oh, yep, just got that hookup message. Yes, yes. I will be watching episode one possibly <laughs> this evening. <laughs> All right. So I right, well, let, let the fuck know what else you got going on. Um, besides that, besides this, besides Fallout, um, I am still working on Avatar, the animated series. Um, I put a whole bunch of episodes out this week. My bad, because I, I missed, I keep missing Agreed, stuff. I keep missing things. <laughs> so I accidentally skipped an episode. So there are three episodes this week. So I probably won't do one on Friday, but, um, I still have, wait, what's today? The 10th. So, um, 10th. Parasite is getting ready to start. So I'll see if I like that. Oh, yeah, if I like yeah, the first yeah. episode. I that movie then i will go Wait, ahead and did you say it was a continuation of the movie is it something different i don't know it might be of the of the um i think it's something completely different and i think it's of the manhwa where it's like parasite the anime the anime where the people had different oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's right that's right that's yeah. what it was you said. Yeah. Okay. so that's going to start either today or tomorrow so i will be watching the first episode of that if i like it then that's probably going to be my k-drama for tuesdays and thursdays cool. i'm still playing Baldur's gate um, I had a setback. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to cry a little bit. But one of my characters stopped working. So I'm probably going to have to go back two oh, hours no. to a previous save. I'm going to cry in my chest. Oof. Um, solo leveling is done. And that's about it. It's not like the oh. anime. They said it was. So is it, the, is it the movie or is it the anime? Oh, wow. Because they made it seem like it was the anime. Yeah, I, I've never played the actual Fallout game, but I have. Oh God, I love it so much. The the, the I've played the the um more oh, um vault centric one, uh, but Fallout Shelter. I, I told AK that. that I have 700 hours in Fallout Four, and all of my factions are still alive because I refuse to kill them. And I believe that. I believe that 100. <laughs> percent It's the same thing I used to do when when I would like build up um Sim towns and Sim towers. If you remember those games from back in the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um, so then next Monday, um, we will tackle Fallout Shelter episode one. I like how you put Fallout we'll Shelter in there. One. It's Fallout. Fallout Shelter okay. is the game. Okay, that's you. right. That's right. You're right. You're right. My bad. <laughs> Fallout. You're correct. Those are two separate games. <laughs> you are correct. And I did just say that too. So yeah. Ridiculous I just looked it up. Art. It is in the same. It's in the same universe. I did look it up. You're correct. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, Fallout episode one Monday, Shogun episode five, five Wednesday. on Wednesday, and uh, it, I, if things go well and work out with timing, I'll be on with the boys on Tuesday. I think for uh, Invincible episode. Question. Are, we, are we trying yes. to get Heidi for Fallout? Yes, actually. And I was okay. talking to her earlier today. So okay. let me see. She had she has an idea on some things coming in. I I um will post to her to have you uh to loop you in okay. for some of the things on her channel, and then yeah, definitely have her and Justin on with us for a few of those episodes too. Okay. All right, you coming back like right at right at the wrap up, bruv? Yeah, we're getting ready to hit. Well, I'm getting ready to hit Fallout. I'm so excited. Bow, bow, yes, bow, yes, bow, yes, bow, indeed. Bow, bow, yes, bow, we, we are bow, we are about bow. to be up in this. So yeah, stay tuned, folks. Um, I, I'm I, I'm sad, you know, that my my numbers have dipped a bit, and it, in quick succession, which kind of sucks. I don't know exactly what happened. Probably pissed somebody off with my nonsense. Eh. Nah, 
what happens is yeah. people um people will check to see if you're doing something if you're not doing something then they'll then i'll unsubscribe i yeah, happens yeah. to me all the time it happens to me all the time i don't yeah i, I I'm, I'm not always here like every week you know mm-hmm. life be happening and life don't life don't yeah. stop for these years. life be happening all right yeah indeed indeed but yeah yeah, um stay tuned again and just please keep in mind i I am very very close very close to being able to monetize the views and whatnot we're getting up there y'all so so come on this journey with me continue please so we can get this popping off on some real cool shit yeah all right so we will catch y'all next week have a wonderful and safe weekend peace bye guys